coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the review on the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. These are awesome. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but these are um, kind of like liquid lipsticks and they are new, but they are limited edition. And they retail anywhere from like seven to almost nine dollars at the drugstore. I saw mine, or I bought mine at Walgreens, but I know a lot of you have seen them at like Bed Bath & Beyond or CVS. They say these are limited edition and there's only eight colors in the line, but I have a feeling that this might be one of those test launches where they launch eight colors, limited edition colors, and then they kind of see how they do, and then they launch the permanent line with a lot more, with a wider selection of colors. As you guys saw my lip swatches at the beginning of the video, I purchased four colors. I wanted to get a good feel or a good sense over the color selection that they had, and after I got these, the other ones kind of felt sort of like in between shades. So the first one that I got, or the first one that you saw, was 511 Tantalizing Tangerine, and this is just a really pretty orange. Then I showed you guys 510 Aphrodite Kiss, which is like a raspberry red. Then I showed you guys this beautiful hot pink called Fuchsia Amnesia. And the one that I'm wearing right now, the Kylie Jenner look, is 517 Nude, Nude Allude. Nude Allude, that's kind of cute. So, uh, overall impressions, I mean, the matte lip trend is not going anywhere. So girls, you wanna make sure that your lips are exfoliated and plump and juicy and nourished, and you wanna make sure that you're drinking a lot of water so that your skin is fully hydrated, because this matte lip craze is not going anywhere. Put some chapstick on your bedside table and put it on before you, you go to bed so that you do not have like crusty lips with your matte lip. So these products are infallible, which means they're supposed to last an extended period of time. They are not drying, and they're very creamy. But once you put it on, they do go through a drying phase. So you apply it, and let's talk a little bit about the applicator. First of all, when you purchase this product, it does have like a safety reservoir. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it has that like empty space between like the neck and the body of the container. So you'll know if someone already opened the product and tested it out. So mine were, they don't have a safety seal or anything, but mine um, were completely empty right here in the center. So you know that no one swatched it. So make sure you look for that. Then it has this funny like teardrop doe foot applicator and it's kind of strange, it is on an angle. So I like to use it with the resistant side. If I were to use it, do you guys see how the angle's going that way? So if I were to use it this way, like the common sense way, it's very soft. So the applicator folds a lot. I have a lot of lips, so I have a lot of space that I need to fill. So if you turn it against the other side, like the flat side, you have more resistance and it's easier to apply to like your top lip and really shape out your cupid's bow. If you decided that you wanted this product to last a little bit longer, I suggest lining your entire mouth with a lip liner and then putting this on top. Does this need a lip liner to provide full opacity? Absolutely not. Right now I'm not wearing anything except for the 517 Nude Allude. That's it. That's all I'm wearing. And you can see it looks a little orange on my lips. I don't know why. I guess this is one of those nudes that will look more brown on some or peach on others. Kind of like Frida, how it looks different on everybody. <laughs> so um, I'm really happy with them. They don't dry out my lips. They're very comfortable to wear. They aren't long wearing like say 10 or 12 hour wear, but you know, after a couple of sips of coffee, you could tell, I mean, a lot didn't even get on my cup. So it doesn't transfer too much. It's not a product that will bleed. So just to kind of give you an idea of the formula of what it's like, kind of reminds me of the Rimmel Show Offs, or if you're in the UK, they're called Apocalypse. It kind of reminds me of that, even though the matte ones are still a little bit more creamy than these. And by creamy, I don't mean it in a good way. These are supposed to be matte, but they're more loose. The product in the L'Oreal one is a lot thicker. So it's almost like you're getting a thicker product out of here and applying it. It's almost like you're applying a lipstick with a paintbrush or a lip brush. Do you understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So it's a really cool product. I really honestly 
I hope it's not limited edition. I mean, maybe these colors are limited edition, but I really hope that it becomes part of the permanent launch because I feel like the matte lip trend isn't going anywhere, one. And two, it's so in between right now where you have normal lipsticks and lip liners, and then you have the 14 hour wear, long wear lip products that are kind of high maintenance. You know, they have the two sides, you need to set it, you need to put the balm over it to kind of rehydrate it. You know, the L'Oreal one that I'm talking about that has the double side where you stain your lips first and then you apply the balm. And so that kind of takes a lot of work. And if you have a product like this that's on trend, comfortable to wear, and it is semi-long wearing, I think people would, would warm up to this idea a little bit better than like the 14 or 16 hour wear long, lip, long wear lip products. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? <laughs> so um, let us know in the comments where you've seen these because I know a lot of you are probably on a mad hunt for these. If you are a fan of the matte lip trend, this is definitely a product that you will enjoy. And I really like the variety of colors that it has. If you already know that you like the NYX soft matte lip creams or the Rimmel show offs, this is definitely a product that I suggest you try. I'm sure you're going to love it. So like I said, it is limited edition. It retails anywhere from seven to nine dollars. Let us know in the comments where you've seen it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review, including lip swatches. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.